How's it going guys? So today on the Phantom Cave YouTube channel we're going to be talking about a latest interview video that I've set up and today's interview video is going to feature a renowned specialist in a lot of categories we're talking about Will Frick Media. So he's going to be joining us very soon and so stick tuned to the video. So Will Frick Media. Um, how how did you know about the Phantom? Did you read them when you were a kid? Um, what sort of insight on the Phantom do well, you actually I've have? I've known the Phantom, or known about the Phantom since I was 11. I started reading it from my grandfather's issues that he had and just sort of went from there, started collecting it and buying it from secondhand bookstores where I could. And uh, yeah, really it was my first superhero comic that I read and got really interested in. And you know, this was before comic book collecting was a thing. So, and it's just gone from there, really. Question number two is in this interview, what have you made for the Phantom community? And I know you have done some jewelry, but what other things have you done? Anything So else? far we've made about 24 items of jewelry. This is rings, good and bad mark, uh, we've got our unique Junk Patrol ring, and if you can see there, it's got the cross swords of the four uh, leaders of the original Jungle Patrol. So that's a very unique piece to us. We've got some pendants, we're looking to expand into earrings, into cufflinks maybe, um, a few more pendants that we can do. The other things that we're looking to do is, um, you know, baseball caps, uh, beanies, Jungle Patrol jackets, uh, walking staff. We've got a um, Phantom game that we're developing at the moment. This is with artwork from Glen Ford. So it's the Phantom Country, but we're still working on that one, getting that one all approved. We're also looking to do a comic book collector folder that's a licensed product as well. So we've got a lot going on at the moment. Jewelry is the first one that we're putting out there, so we're looking to get that done, say, end of this month, uh, beginning of next month. So, yeah, we're moving ahead quite quickly with that one. Question number three is, what is your original profession? Like, do you, like, sort of, like, have a long history in a certain profession? What sort of in and outs of... Um, that profession do you have and what other skills could you could we be seeing in the future as your range well, gets for the last 30 years or so I've been a finance broker or I've been in finance working from banks and stuff like that which has been a bit of a departure uh, with this venture but I just wanted to do something a little bit different uh, having said that there are some skills I've taken over, but most of it's been a learning curve. So learning with companies, figuring out licensing, all that kind of stuff. So there is a lot we've had to learn with that one as well. So yeah, but uh, you know, just wanted to do something I enjoy and we'll see how we go from there. Basically, easy question for this one, your hobbies. Well, apart from reading comics and other fantasy novels, uh, woodwork, home renovation, gardening, uh, restoring stuff, um, I've done a bit of drawing, you know, just stuff that's a bit more creative, which is why well, I think the drive for this one's come out now. So yeah, just sort of um, getting more in tune with what I want to do and how I want to do it, which is what I'm looking forward to doing in the future. The last question on this interview is if fans would like to buy one of your products when they're valuable. Um, how can they get in touch from you? Like the, your products of jewellery, you have some other things like caps, shirts, stuff like that. What? How can they get in contact or at touch? At the moment, you? we're taking expressions of interest. They can email us at wolfricmedia at outlook.com. That's W-U-L-F-R-I-C-M-E-D-I-A at Outlook. Uh, they can find that on our Facebook page, which is Wolfric Media. And we will send them an expression of interest form to their email address. Uh, there's got thumbnails on there of the products that they can buy. And then they just put in their ring size, send it back to us. Uh, we reserve their order for them. 
so they can have a look and see exactly what they're buying. All prices are in Australian dollars. Shipping is generally going to be about $15 internationally, $10 within Australia. There is some packaging and handling on that, depending on how many products that they buy. Uh, but we will let them know. We've got the latest designs for our pillow boxes on which all jewellery is going to be shipped. So they can have a look at those on our Facebook page as well. If they have any comments or any questions, they can just email us at the email address or get on our Facebook page, like the page and send us some queries. It's been great talking to you guys. Thank you very much for um, getting the word out there and helping us out with our project. Hopefully some fans will get on board. Uh, most of it's been organic, so if the word spreads, that would be fantastic. But I uh, look forward to speaking for to you soon. Media for and for talking about your products and what you do for the Phantom community. And if you would like to subscribe down below, you can click that subscriber button down below and you will just receive loads of content in the next few weeks. We're up to, I think, 103 subscribers. And I was actually, I was sorry that I didn't get a video up on it yesterday. Um, but hopefully when this one comes out, you'll be able to enjoy it. You'll be able to view it. And as always, keep Phantom Caving and we'll see you next time on the Phantom Cave YouTube.